much. Well, if you ask any dog owner, they'll probably tell you the least favorite part of ownership is picking up after your dog. But now one man has a poo-free plan. Fox City One's Greg Nieto is live at Wash Park with more on how this green plan would also save cities green as well. Greg? Yeah, Libby, I had no idea that owners uh, in the state of Colorado, dog owners at that, how seriously they took the uh, duty of uh, doggy do. And the answer, the excitement, may actually come in the form of one of these doggy bags. This is the type of bag you might find ordinarily here at Wash Park. According to the man you're about to meet, he says a bag like this would take some, well, perhaps a thousand years to fully degrade and dissolve. On the other hand, his bag, he says, fully degradable in anywhere from six to 12 months. And here's the best part of all, someone else would literally, well, pick up the costs. The man behind the wheel is the man behind a poo-free parks idea. You see Bill Airy is a dog owner who one day knew he simply had to dig a little deeper. I uh, was walking my two dogs in Sloan's Lake Park when I saw another dog owner uh, leave his mess behind. Obviously I was disgusted and disappointed. So he decided to do something about it and came up with the concept of poo-free parks from the doggy bag backward. Instead of charging the taxpayers and the municipalities for the bags and dispensers, uh, why don't I do it? And I'll have it subsidized by area businesses and organizations. Businesses and organizations that would get plenty of props or barks. We came up with the idea of giving them two thirds of the sign um, to place their name and their logo on as well as um, the biodegradable plastic bag itself, they're allowed to imprint on those. Area is already in talks with the city of Denver to start the program. The city of Glendale, though, may already have a case of puppy love. Right now, we spend probably close to $3,000 a year on bags. She thinks she's a big dog, you know? Megan Morgan and her dog, Sadie's, give the poo-free parks idea a high paw. I think that'd be great, and if they wanted to put up an advertisement sign on it so that people can get more knowledge about their business as well. That way they're doing a good thing and they're getting income as well off of it. I think that'd be fantastic. So the next time you see a poo-free parks car, know that a poo-free park may be just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Now, some of these eco-friendly products may already be in some of the uh, city parks in the city and county of Denver, Libby. As for the actual launch of the program, well, that's on the horizon. It really is a great idea. All right, Greg, thanks. <laughs> Well, it may be hot outside.